If anything, this is a tutorial of what not to do in B-Storm Simulator. What do you think the worst bee in B-Storm is? Well, my viewers voted for what the worst bees in B-Storm are, and I'm gonna have to beat B-Storm using the 10 worst bees. Brave Bee, Rascal, Demo, Fire Bee, Demon, Lion, Fuzzy, Spicy, Puppy Bee, <coughs> no surprise, and lastly, the Cobalt Bee. I'm not sure why people didn't choose the Crimson Bee. They must be racist against Blue Hives. These are the worst bees from each rarity, according to my viewers. So if you want to blame anyone, don't blame me. And using the worst bees in B-Storm, I'm gonna have to speedrun killing the Stump Snail, I'm gonna have to boost, and lastly, I'm gonna have to get rank 20 in the robo challenge what am i doing with this hive what is this and i cannot even use the red cannon the first time you've ever seen me cheat in the video this is literally just for b types so yeah before i attempt to do any of the three challenges i'm first gonna have to get the best gear and the max level hive so let's cop all of this garbage and most importantly i'm gonna have to get another 25 hive slots okay there we go i'm officially poor gambling at the gambling machine has never hurt anyone give me something cool that is not it but okay whatever dude what kind of hive can i even make with these 10 bees. I mean, maybe I can get a few more fuzzy bees in here, but you don't really need any more than three. I guess a few line bees. And bro, brave bees literally useless. I guess that's why I ended up being the worst bee in bee swarm. Okay, there we go. I tried my best with this hive, okay? Let's make it level 20 and gifted. Nice. And spending eight quadrillion honey on treats has never hurt anyone before. You know, I'm just so lucky to have this gifted puppy bee, which allows me to get even more bees to level 21. Thank you so much, puppy bee. Like, I just love you so much. Best bee Bee swarm confirmed. I hate this bee so much. And there we go. Half my hive is now level 21. I guess let's get the best gear in bee swarm and coconut crab. You're gonna have to die. What the heck is going on, bro? Coconut crab, I'm right here. What? Ah, bro, what? That crab just zoomed across the field just to kill me. <laughs> Look at this. I'm scared now. Yo, get back, sir. Coconut crab, are you okay? Yo, what the flipping heck? On it, your game's a little broken to say the least. Hey, Coconut Crab, how's it feel? I'm behind you. You came and hit me. Okay, there we go. Coconut Crab is just so stupid. Okay, Coconut Clogs, Coconut Canister, Petal Belt, which I didn't forget. I even got it on my series account. So you guys can't even say that I forgot the Petal Belt anymore. And if you do, I'm gonna send bees to sting you in the butt. And also the Gummy Boots, which I didn't forget. Are the Gummy Boots becoming the new Petal Belt on this channel? Because I keep seeing comments saying, I forgot the Gummy Boots, which obviously I didn't. But people think it's funny, which it's not. It's not funny. It hurts my feelings. Super Smoothie for haste and i think for this video it's gonna be best if i become a red hive because you know i have a few spicy bees and i'll be on this right it's like my only chance of actually getting any of these challenges done scary demon mask and lastly the dark scythe okay there we go i'm officially a red hive or whatever the hell this is this is my red hive so to speak oh since it's a red hive i should probably get attack on every single bee i'll be right back this shouldn't take too long okay three to five business days later all of my bees have attack hopefully i didn't miss a bee because everyone's gonna go crazy and i think it's time for challenge number one this stump snail speedrun. I got the pro gamer speedrun timer right here. I cannot believe I just said that. No one better quote me on that. They all pop the nectar tester. Super smoothie. And I think I'm ready to speedrun killing the stump snail. As soon as I do damage to the stump snail, the speedrun timer starts. So 10 of the worst bees in bee swarm versus the stump snail. Okay, there we go. It started. Oh my gosh. That sounds when you collect 10 rage tokens. It's like hell unleashing upon earth. So I think I'm doing some pretty good damage considering I'm using the 10 worst bees. And bro, they're all falling asleep. Why are you all falling asleep? Sleep. Oh, wait, I know why. I'm gonna have to interrupt the speed run. I'm still gonna keep the timer rolling so I don't cheat. I forgot to get polar power, bro. That's why all my bees are running out of energy. This is much better, actually. Two minutes in, and I already did almost 4 million damage to the thumb snail. I think that's actually pretty good pace. But let me know what you guys think of the beast that my Discord chose. Which, by the way, if you wanna vote and stuff like this, join my Discord, link in the description. It's a great place to lose a few brain cells. But yeah, my opinion, you can make an argument for why each of these bees are the worst in their category. So I think it's pretty fair. But for now, all you trash can bees better get back to killing the stump snail. Okay, we have crossed a 10 million damage point in 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Nice. 10 million HP left on the stump snail. You know, I think I'm doing pretty well, considering I'm using the 10 worst bees in bee swarm. But I don't know, if anyone wants to beat my world record, please, gladly, hop inside of the test realm and suffer just like I am. 7 million left. Okay, dude, 200,000 health left, 100,000, and of course, it's a brown trail amulet. But anyway, I'm officially done speedrunning the stump snail, and I managed to kill it using the 10 worst bees in 11 minutes and 49 seconds, which I think it's not too terrible. And that reminds me, I forgot to get amulets, dude. The one amulet I have is this garbage supreme star amulet. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to work on this real quick. Okay, pretty pogger amulet. Nice. Nice. Boom. Boop. 
And lastly, plus one B attack. Let's go. Now we got the best amulets and B swarm. The next challenge I have to do with these 10 trash can bees is to actually boost. So I'm gonna try going for a red field, but who knows? With these bees, you cannot predict anything. I thought they would be a bit better at attacking, but whatever. Okay, let's donate one gifted myth gag and will I get any red fields? Okay, I actually have a choice. Either mushroom or rose. I think I'm gonna do rose, personally. Might be a little useful to craft a few loaded dice, you know, for the purpose of the boost. And let's add a single sticker to the sticker stack. This is gonna be my first one, so the buffs aren't gonna be insane, but it's something. So I'm gonna boost for about 15 to 20 minutes to see how much honey I end up making, but already I'm making like 200 million honey per second, which isn't too shabby. Although, although you cannot compare this honey to what a red hive would be making. And I know you guys might call me a red hive, but I'm not, trust me. This is the absolute worst combination of bees I've ever used in my life. So please never call this a red hive because it's not. So I guess I have the privilege of farming like this for like 20 minutes. Man, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm being sarcastic. This is gonna be extremely painful. And I would use a festa bean, but why would I? When literally all the pollen I get gets converted in one millisecond by the star saw. I guess that's just how OP this hive is. When you have a star saw and a lot of attack, you pretty much never fill up. 500 million per second. Okay. Closer and closer to that 1 billion mark. 700 million per second. Oh, there we go. 1 billion per second. Let's go. It might have lasted two seconds, but it was the best two seconds ever. Don't quote me on that. All right. So I think it's safe to say the boost is over. So I boosted for a good 20 minutes and I made about 977 billion honey. I couldn't quite crack 1 trillion, but bro, I'm literally using the worst hive I've ever used in my life. This is the most cursed thing I've ever done. And the last challenge, which might just be the most difficult one, round 20 inside of the robo challenge or above. Okay. So first of all, let's get the drives, which of course are needed to repair the robo bear. Yeah. On it gave me a little too many jobs, but whatever. I'm going to use those to my advantage because this is just going to be so difficult on its own. Okay. Robo bear, whatever. Just give me round one. Okay. Spend one pass. Sure. Collect 60,000 pollen. Nice. I'm mostly going to go for red quests in this challenge. So yeah, it shouldn't be that difficult early on. Homepage. Red pollen. Man. Sometimes I forget just how long the robo challenge actually takes. I remember I had to do like five or six different robo challenges for one video. That literally took like six hours. Okay, red and blue pollen. Easy. Buzzy bee. Oh uh, yeah, puppy bee. That's literally going to be the last bee I ever get in this video. Homepage. Bee attack. Actually, I'm not even sure if I can unlock puppy bee in round 20. If not, then good. Because I don't want to unlock puppy bee at all. Okay, there we go. Round three is done. Nothing too difficult so far. Although I should probably pop a super smoothie for the haste, of course. White and blue pollen again. Easy. Bam. Boop. Cogs. Iterate. There we go. Round four is done. And round five, where I have to kill 25 mosquitoes. Boop. Bam. Man, mosquitoes gotta be the most annoying damn creature in the world. You ever try and fall asleep and then you just hear some mosquitoes in your room? <laughs> Bro, it's the most annoying thing, I swear. And on it, for some reason, wanted to add that to Bee Swarm to torture me specifically. Round five, please be over. I hate this stupid sound of the mosquitoes. There we go. Let's go. Only 15 rounds to go. And then the suffering will hopefully be over. Okay, round six. I can easily do quest A and get a bit more cogs. And I gotta be real careful when I say cog. It's really easy to mispronounce cog and say something else, if you know what I mean. Nice. Round seven. Okay, pineapple punch. I guess that plus one day attack from Brave Bee will be pretty good. Home page. Redfield capacity. Actually, should I have gotten that? Because that limits my bomb pollen and literally half of my bees only produce bombs. So I'm not sure if that was a good idea, but let's just hope and pray. Okay, that's done. Round eight. Usually I want to choose quests that give me more cogs like this one. Quest B is literally easier than quest A, but it gives me five more cogs. So we definitely want to do that. Okay, one line B cannot hurt the hive. Router, iterate, white pollen, why not? And just for funsies, might as well load a dice this field, make life a little easier for myself. And there we go. It's literally done already and I get an eight cog speed bonus. That's just how fast I am. Okay, this quest is just easy, spicy. Yeah, puppy bee, why do you keep showing up? We don't want you here. I'm obviously thinking of spicy bee. Robo bear done. And for round 10, I'm gonna have to kill 10 cogmores and get 60 million white pollen. I was gonna say billion. I don't know why. I'm just stupid. Okay, cobalt bee. I'm not sure if I should get it. Honestly, I think spicy bee will be much better. And bro, codec, just not worth. I need that bee attack. Without it, I'm gonna die. But I'm gonna get these two upgrades right here and we can start the challenge. So yeah, a few innocent cogmores mowers around the map will have to die, unfortunately. One last field where I have to kill these cog mowers, and I might as well finish getting the white pollen here. Oh, and I just remembered, I do have a few of these drives saved up, and by few, I literally mean 10,000, so I might as well use some of them. When you get, you shall use. That's my code of the day. Okay, nice. Round 10 sun. Round 11, and obviously, gonna do quest A. I'm just like that. Demo B. I have absolutely no clue what the high bonus is from Demo B, but sure, I'm just gonna take a gamble, hope it's good, and same with Rascal B. I think it's some extra red pollen. Let's cop this, cop this. 
this and I'm too poor for it right, but let's lock it in and start the challenge. Only a bit of pollen on the mountain top left. Come on, be slaves, hurry up. It's my bedtime soon. Round 12. Let's get the goo. Spicy, spicy, obviously. Wait, I just realized I got two rascal bees, so I didn't even have to get the other one. Okay, whatever. Get this. Bam. Nice. Round 12's done. Only eight more rounds to go until the suffering is over. Round 13. Goo again. Nice. Fire bee, my first one. Nice. I keep saying nice. That's just so nice. Okay, red pollen, cogs. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm done. I promise. Round 13 done. Slay. 14. Okay, I think this one's a little easier. Fuzzy balls. Spicy. Boop. Bam. Yo, optimize. Let's go. That's OP. Strawberry done. Cactus is done. And lastly, we have sunflower. And round 14 done. Round 15. We're after to kill 10 mega mosquitoes. And man, white pollen or blue pollen? That's difficult. I'm gonna have to go with white. Overall, it's easier. Puppy bee, go away! I'm neglecting you like I neglect my kid. Okay, VPN, torrent. I think the best field for me to get the swipe pollen in is sandline since I do have homepage saved up quite a bit. Homepages upgrade where the fields in the spawn area are multiplied. So yeah, quickly, give me times three dandelion, please. Please, thank you. Okay, there we go. Might as well glitter this up. Super smoothie, marshmallow bee. And also some drives for funsies. Now that I think about it, I shouldn't even be worried. The white pollen is quite simple to get. I am gonna have to focus on killing these stupid mega mosquitoes, so come back here. It's time to die. And some guy is claiming a few badges. Man, stop. I'm trying to do the rubber challenge. You're lagging my game. Okay, maybe I should be a little more worried about the pollen. Just maybe, though. I'm not worried yet. Round 15 is done. Round 16. I can easily get 1.5 billion goo. And these trash cans just keep showing up. Okay, Rascal be sure. Bam. Capacity. Reroll. Home page. Round 16 is done. Round 17. I think Dandelion Rose is pretty simple. Let's do that. Spicy. Spicy. Rose done. And time for Dandelion. Round 17 is done. Three more rounds. Time for round 18. Okay, we can do Quest B. I'll get a quick Demon B up in here. I think I ran out of Spice Bees, I'll be honest. Let's get this upgrade here. Oh, wait. I actually got the Star Shower. Wait, what the? How? Okay, whatever. I don't mind. This only helps me out. Rose done. Strawberry done. And time for Mushroom. Which should honestly be much easier than Strawberry. Okay, yeah. This game is confirmed to be way too easy for me because I'm just that good at it. Oh, here's your own. Around 18 is done. I'm tired, okay? I haven't slept in, like, 54 hours. And by 54 hours, I meant, like, 12, but close enough. Mr. Robert, round 19, please give me a red field. Um, oh my gosh. Dandelion, pineapple, pumpkin. I'm gonna have to reroll. No! Dandelion and spider. Why? Oh my god. Okay. Um, I'm really gonna have to clutch up here. So I guess we choose quest A in the name of the beast from gods. Spicy and spicy again. Okay, let's get this. Reroll. Time to be attack. And I'm going straight to spider. Bro, this game better not freaking scam me. Please. Time to clutch up on spider. I better get a lot of flipping pawn here. Slowly but surely making progress. I don't think I got enough spicy bees in my hive, honestly. Considering they make my pollen so much thicker, like your sister, I probably should have gotten at least like five or seven. Yeah, I'm just gonna admit it. White pollen with this many red bees is impossible, so I'm gonna take the honorable way out and quit. Uh, gold Cog Amulet, of course. And a score of 90,000. Well, it's not a diamond Cog Amulet, and it's not round 20, so back into the suffering we go. Actually, before that, let me change my hive up a little bit. As I mentioned, I definitely need a few more fuzzy bees, and I might have a few too many lion bees, which don't even spawn any abilities, so I guess spicy bees for the win. This should be good. Let's make him gifted, and let's get back to the suffering, by which I mean, let's get back to doing the robot challenge. Alright, look, watch out. I can easily do this. Quest A. Mushroom and pineapple. That is the easiest thing I've ever done. Cobal B for funsies. Maybe the reason I lost last time is because I didn't have puppy B, so I'm gonna disgrace my men and get puppy B. I'm sorry, but I have to do it. Bomb pollen, capacity, reroll. Um, okay, yeah, whatever. We'll just lock this in. Bro, the strouder would have been really freaking useful right about now, but whatever. It gives me pineapple ball. Let's start the round. Pop these drives, and I'm running straight to pineapple. White drive, blue drive. Okay, let's do some loaded dice. Can I please get pineapple? Anytime soon, pineapple. I'm begging you. On it. Give me pineapple, please. Okay, there we go. It's a miracle. I got pineapple. All right, pineapple's done. Time for mushroom. Will I actually get mushroom? Okay, about time, bro. I literally went through like 20 loaded dice on this one round alone. I don't think the luck is in my favor this round. Hopefully, the next one will be a little better. And obviously, puppy bee's carrying. Maybe I shouldn't have been hating on puppy bee so much. Round 18's done. Okay, round 19. Goo and blue pollen or red and blue pollen? Please give me something where it's just red pollen. Okay, I can do quest B where it's just 24 four billion pollen. That is easy. I can do that easily. Let's get this. Fuzzy balls. Spicy. This. Uh, more capacity. Reroll. Okay. Nothing too crazy. And let's start running to mushroom where I'm gonna get this pollen done. And I might as well glitter this field 
build up. No reason not to at this point. <sighs> Round 19 is done. And now for my last trick, I'm actually gonna have to pop a Fetza Bean. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous, but I just want to ensure I get round 20 done. And I don't want to risk having to do this all over again because that would suck complete balls. Okay, all right, I think that's good. So, Mr. Robo Bear, welcome. Thank you, round 20. Please give me Red Pollen and Cogmores. Okay, Red Pollen, nice. Okay, let's just get this. I'm capacity. Um, might as well get the pollen too. And let's start the round. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna have to kill the Cogmores, which might be a tiny bit difficult, but we're gonna go for it as fast as possible. Oh my gosh, man, I'm so nervous. Okay, bees, come on, attack. We cannot be wasting any time here. Every second is precious. Okay, all the cogmores over here in Sunflower are dead. Time to kill the ones in Pineapple. Okay, Pineapple's done. Time for Bamboo. Bamboo's done. And Strawberry time. That's the last Rod Field. Okay, let's go. All the cogmores are dead. Now, time to grind the heck out of Mushroom Field, bro. I have to pop off here. Super Smoothie for Haste. Please, Beast from Gods, let me be able to finish this. Puppy Bee token, whatever. That will definitely get me the one here. I am getting a decent amount of like 60, 70 million pollen per second. Make that 80. And the best thing is, I'm not filling up at all. I'm very glad I ended up using that Fessa Bean. So I have to focus on getting as much pollen as possible. Literally, that's the only thing I can do now. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. The bombs are just going crazy. Whoa. All right, about a third of the way through the red pollen. Very right, nice. Picking up 800 million, 1 billion pollen per second halfway through. Whoa, this is going insane. Yark, screen please. No, not right now, bro. I'm grinding. I literally have one minute to finish this. I didn't forget the pedal bell. I know, bro. And you know what else I didn't forget? The fact that round 20. One is complete! Yes! Oh my god, this literally took like two hours to do. I'm not even kidding. So drop a like and sub for my suffering. If you guys want, if you guys like these videos, because I definitely like them, but they do take a lot out of me. Round 21, I'm not sure if I can do it. Yeah, hell to the no, I'm not doing that. But hey, we can quit here, and I got my diamond cog amulet, and even the robo sticker. Wow, was that even good? Wait, replace, I earned this. Okay, duped ability pollen. I've never seen that before. That's cool. And yeah, I officially beat Bee Swarm using the 10 worst bees in Bee Swarm. I'm pretty proud of that. Let me know what you guys think the worst beasts in Beast Swarm are. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.